means chocolate. So anything that we don't put in the freezer and is ready to be actually rolled into truffles, we'll have to finish it. So you that's what we're trying to do right now. <laughs> you want the spoon? Yes, do you please want go spoon? with the spoon. Girl. I'm Jason Lynch, the current president of the Laboratory for Chocolate Science. Uh, here we are in our office. Behind me are 600 pounds of chocolate that we just ordered from Guitar. We use this chocolate to run almost all of our events, from uh, chocolate tastings to finals hot chocolate, truffle making classes. We're an MIT student group. We're a group of chocolate enthusiasts. Uh, we love to eat chocolate, experiment with chocolate, learn about the science, history, politics of chocolate. Everyone who cares about chocolate finds their way here for some reason or another. So LCS was actually an accident. I found this random place online that was willing to sell me 50 pounds of chocolate for like $1.50 a pound. And I didn't have any idea what I would do with it, but I couldn't really pass up that sort of deal. So I purchased 50 pounds of chocolate, showed up at Senior House and said, what am I going to do with it? So I invited all of my friends over, got a couple gallons of cream and said, bring whatever's in your pantries, you know, alcohol and extracts and spices. And we've got 50 pounds of chocolate. Who cares if we mess some up? We'll try it, see what happens. And it was fun. So that was a truffle party. And it was so much fun that we did it again a couple months later. And the third time that we did this, I started having random people from my dorm come in and say, I don't know you, but this looks like fun. Can I come? And I said, sure. And then somebody said, why isn't this a club? And I said, that's a good question. <laughs> I'll go fill out some paperwork. Um, and that's how LCS actually got started. So that's the first one gets it. And then we're going to work on the second batch. Perfect. A lot of people find cooking a little scary, chocolate a little scary, high-end chocolate like, like truffles. They seem very imposing. They're things you pay a lot of money for and you get, you know, the classic set of flavors. So part of the point of LCS is to break down that, that wall of imposing, ooh, culinary, high-end excitement and turn it into something that was approachable to students that people could try out and basically make their own. Okay, I'm making one with wasabi and garlic powder and banana extracts. Cinnamon and red pepper flakes. Bacon and allspice. Love of chocolate really cuts across a lot of other interests. So you have a lot of different majors and really people from all kinds of backgrounds who come and they like doing chocolate. And it's been really nice to have that sign of kind of cross connection. There are people here who are interested in the science of chocolate, the economics of chocolate, all sorts of different things. Uh, our former president, Anna Walden Brown, spent two summers in Ecuador studying the impact of the chocolate industry on the soil conditions there. Another one of our members uh, was more interested in the economics of chocolate and spent some time studying the world trade in chocolate uh, and how that impacted international markets. Probably the thing that, that has caused me most to go, oh my gosh, I started something and it matters to people was talking to somebody about six months ago who said he was talking to an undergrad the other day and discovered that now a sign that you're a real MIT graduate is that you know how to make truffles. <laughs> it's like, who would have thought of that ten years ago? You know, it's just, it, it's cool. It's a life skill and it's tasty. I know. I know you do. Put some sprinkles on this one? Good that we understand I'll admit I never expected it to still be here 10 years later. Um, it was kind of a joke at the time. You know, even our constitution is humorous. We have a non-discrimination clause in it. We're not allowed to discriminate based on a preference for dark milk or white chocolate. And that was about the attitude that I had going in and creating this club, is that this is here because what the heck, it'll be a fun thing for a couple of terms. And it's still going because the people who've joined and the people who've taken it. The whole point of this club is just to give you the confidence to go do cool things.